All right, we're going to start with the hits. Oh, my God. Did you love the start of the show or what? K Toomer, awesome promo, comes from the front door with Big Dan of Security, who we had on the show last week. They, he goes all the way to the desk, has a talk with Dustin Starr, and pretty much says, look, I'm going to be back. I'm not here to talk. I'm here to kick some ass. K Toomer, awesome, awesome, awesome start of the show. We had Van Vicious out there saying that Colton Cage was gone, and we're not going to see Colton Cage anymore. I really like Van Vicious. He's improved a lot as a worker, and uh, I'm looking forward, and I'm going to mention here in just a few minutes, but I'm le really looking forward to the Colton Cage Van Vicious feud there. Um, if that's the direction we go. So for, next up, we had part of the click coming out. Uh, Jason Vane and Van Vicious tagged, and they went against the LA Hustlers, and we got a big win. Here's a big hit. A big win for the LA Hustlers, one of my favorite teams in the area. Excited to see them get a win. Uh, Colton Cage was uh, actually made an appearance outside the ring when we had the click interfering all, and him kind of making the save for the LA Hustlers. Uh, really, really liked what happened here. Uh, Colton Cage then, then, then did one of his best promos. Very, very good. Here is a guy, and I've said this a lot, here is a guy who has the size, the look, the working ability to be a champion and be a huge star. He has that ego, and I compare him to Flair because Flair was a babyface. Even when he was a babyface, he still had that egotistical uh, attitude. And this is kind of what uh, Colton Cage can do. He can still have the sunglasses and the furs and, and so forth, uh, but he can be a huge, huge babyface for this company. And champion. I, I, I'm predicting that. All right, Marvin Stockwell from uh, Mid-South Coliseum came out to talk about them uh, destroying the Mid-South Coliseum. He got interrupted by Reverend Ash Taylor. Oh, my God, one of my favorite things on the show, a big, huge hit with Jennifer Justice. Well, she was in a nun. She was a, dressed as a nun. <laughs> Loved it. Loved it. I was dying. And her face was perfect. She has she did not smile at once. Uh finally Big Swole came out as they were gonna beat up Marvin Stockwell and challenged uh challenged Bruce, bulletproof Bruce. But they said next week, next week, next week. So we just one of the matches we got for next week. Next up, we had a rematch. Uh, you know, earlier in the year we had uh double R. Ryan Rembrandt actually beat Action Jackson. Uh, Action Jackson back. He's one of my favorite. You know, I always like to say when you say, uh, when I say Action, you say Jackson, right? Love that. Love him. Uh, solid. Always solid in the ring. But let me tell you what the hit of this match was. Was that I call it a moonsault blockbuster. Oh, my God. Ugh. Love that finish move. Absolutely love it. Uh, then we had we had a, a DK interview vignette with Alan Steele uh, and them talking about Ray Ray being injured. Very good piece here. If you didn't see the show last week, then you get clips from last week. You get clips from what they did to him. And you know what I really like about this? Whether Ray Ray is a legit hurt or not, all that happened is they made it a bigger deal. You see all these matches uh, on promotions where uh, where they jump off the ladder and then 20 minutes later they did the super kick and won, right? Well, Ray Ray got beat up, guys, and we believe he got beat up, and that's what I like about the story. He's beat up. He's a young guy, but he's going to make a comeback. Love the stuff with Alan Steele, as always, and Derek did a real good job also on that. Uh, we had Big John Dalton right before uh, Morgan McKenzie going up. McKenzie Morgan going against uh, Cassandra Golden. I I don't know. I said I said he's acting squirrely on an earlier episode, but 
It just seems like we got something weird going on with Big John Dalton. Maybe I'm reading this wrong. I'm not sure. He's trying to give them a warning about uh, Ellsworth in uh, that crew, whether they were going to jump her or not. Really solid match with uh, Cassandra Golden and Mackenzie Morgan. We still have the champ as Cassandra Golden. Love, love, love the way they do championship matches. We have T-Bone right in the middle of the ring. Uh, and, and it makes it special, guys. It makes it really special. He's in the ring. We, we you know, we put the belt up in the air. Uh, very, very good. She made a mistake, made a rookie mistake, and Cassandra Golden pinned her, and this made perfect sense. Mackenzie Morgan was not ready to win the belt, and if she would have paid attention, she probably would have not had that problem. Uh, Rookie mistake, rookie mistake. We all know that the rookies make them, right? Uh, a mountain of muscle. <laughs> I love that. The main event is Gun Show and Maurice the Strong got into the ring. The crowd was ready for this match. Crowd was hot. Absolutely loved it. But we had K Toomer jump in and... Brett Michael said, go ahead. And we did have King Kong versus King Kong. The fans love this. Just a brawl. I like it. I like the way it ended. The show ended. Now we have, we still have K Toomer who didn't get a legit title shot against Gun Show. We got Maurice that didn't get the uh, legit title shot against uh, Gun Show. We got Big Trouble, who actually could get a title shot at any time against Gun Show. Man, Gun Show, man, you you you, you need to be watching behind your back there, buddy, because uh, you never know uh, who's going to go for the belt. Loved it. That was our hits. That was our hits, guys. Hits for 110.